Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. And today's topic is Daisy's first DLC. And it's a map, Livonia, also coming with other content. But it's 163 kilometers squared and the second official map for Daisy, of course. So we're going to be taking a closer look at the information we can gather visually from this teaser trailer for Livonia. And we're also going to speculate a little bit. Oh, I know. Everybody loves a bit of speculation. So we could be wrong, but here we go. Five years in Chernerus, well, five years plus in Chernerus, and we get a new map and a new challenge, which is always good. The DLC and Livonia will contain hundreds of new items, assets, summer vegetation, including some new models not seen in DayZ, around 40 or so ivy models, ivy overgrowth, what we can see on this building here, shown in the teaser, which will be usable on anything you want if you're a map creator yourself. You can use these assets, new rocks, lots of ruins, new industrial buildings, and loads of new gates, wars, and a few unique pieces. I believe Sumrak himself has also said that he has made some updates to Namelsk with these new assets, so I'm pretty interested to see what that's all about. With that said, going back to the start of the teaser trailer, we see a pan out of the radio, which we've seen previously on my channel. I think it was added by accident in Experimental 0.56 Alpha. Uh, here's a clip right on the screen for you now. I'll link the full video as well in the description. Show, oh my god, it's got a presenter! Um, with Live Forever in Bird's debut, is this live? Even a classic uh, yeah, I have no idea if this is live, but it's a radio it's station. No, up next no, it's, it's actually a radio. Quest, it's the real radio, radio station. Another track from it's it's radio how are we getting a signal? It's the zombie apocalypse. Looks like it's teasing the radio to come with this DLC, maybe, or around the same time. It should be added, of course, usable in Chernerus as well, as it is an item that was teased to have been coming to Chernerus not long after we found it. But of course, the rebuild happened following that, and everything had to be rebuilt to use in Fusion Engine and in Force Script and so on and so forth. What we will do now is use our eye holes to see the visual evidence in the teaser of new items. After the radio, we do see a new scope on an AK. It's a pretty interesting scope to have on an AK. Looks kind of like a hunting scope. I have heard you can spawn that scope in, or it is in game files, but is not complete. There's no reticule, so you can't target your target. Also, in the background, you can just about see a V3S, or M3S as it should be known in the future. Oh, before I forget, we also get a little glimpse of a book on the table next to the radio. So get ready for books, paper, and writing in paper coming back soon. On top of the teaser, we also have a couple of screenshots shared of Livonia, the DLC, via the Daisy Twitter account. And one of them is announcing that Daisy will be at EGX in October 17th to the 20th at the XL London. And they show in this picture some of the new assets like roadblocks, rubbish, piled up debris in the road, and also a reskin for the Seiko 120 vehicle that was recently added to Daisy in yellow. And if we look very closely, in the hand of the survivor there next to the car, we can see the IZH double barrel shotgun, which I am looking forward to coming back. So will it be coming back with this DLC and this update to Daisy? We'll have to wait and see. And in this second screenshot from the Daisy dev team, we see a new church or chapel. It looks really nice and I hope we can climb that tower and snipe out of those windows with that new AK scope. Okay, now for some items that could be coming to Daisy very soon, maybe for the DLC but are not confirmed at the B95 two-shot 308 rifle and the snap loader, many a Daisy survivor's favorite. We do see a tractor in the trailer, a lot of speculation that it could be drivable. It looks to me like a static object, just like the JCBs we see in Chernerus around the quarry and things like that. Would be cool though if we had a drivable tractor. The ability to paint guns will be coming in at some point very soon. The feature has been being worked on for almost a year now, so it could very well be coming for this update. We may also get, maybe, biological contaminated areas, which have been teased for a while for Tizzy on Chernerus, and it would be good to have that in, to have more of a threat, risk for a reward in those military areas. All I know is, I want to get fishing on that huge river and lake. Please, for the love of God, get fishing in the game! And finally, the news that most of you are probably here for, the release date for this DLC is November 13th. Of course, this DLC is platform-wide, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I'm assuming all at the same time, which will be great. I'll be testing it on PS4, Xbox, and PC, and covering it as much as possible. I will be starting up the live streams and exploring Livonia with you, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll probably just feel free to join the server I'm on. I'll probably give it out and you guys run around with me uh, as soon as we start streaming, which will hopefully I'll be back by then. I just want to finish up by saying, try and stay positive. I've seen a lot of negativity around this DLC and the new map, Livonia. People saying, Why are you making a new map? You should be fixing your game. 
Oh, well, that's a good impression, wasn't it? The map creators, designers, editors, they do not work on the bugs and, and the animations, new weapons. They are purely making the map. So you can't have a go at them or the new map being made on a bug that has nothing to do with the map. Those fixes will come down the line. The way I look at it is I've got this new map coming that I can sink my teeth into and learn and have new adventures and wait for these big fixes to come in later down the line in the next big update. But at the same time, I totally get your frustrations. We've all been there. We all have struggled with DayZ with an issue we may have had. So I'm not ignoring that. I do know that exists. But we're not getting anywhere by stressing out and being super negative. At the end of the day, Bohemia Interactive is an independent company working on DayZ. They do need money after all. But that said, you don't need to spend a penny on DayZ's DLC if you don't want to. Nobody's forcing you to. Just keep that in mind. But if you do want to talk about this, leave it in the comment section below. I always read every comment. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you enjoy the channel. And I'll see you peeps next time. Maybe maybe the rest of the world isn't affected. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Maybe it's just us. <laughs>